Okay, so Mediolanum or Miletus. So let's go Mediolanum. We'll continue on to the uh, the military here. I now require a major Roman city on the Empire's northern border. Create a city of no fewer than 7,000 souls within sight of the Alps. Furthermore, 7, I expect you to achieve higher levels of prosperity and culture than you have done so far, although your goals are still only moderately high. Ordinarily, okay, so I, I got to prosperity, I got to 27 last time, so that's not a problem. But the rugged terrain will provide you with a new challenge. This time of rampant warfare is hard on all my governors. The great Carthaginian general Hannibal is on the march, and Rome is locked in the greatest struggle in her long history. When this so-called Punic War finally ends, either Rome or Carthage will rule the Mediterranean for all time. Of course, Rome shall prevail, but I've yet to find the general who can crush this Hannibal. I'm the man for the job, buddy. With the Alps guarding your province, you probably have less to fear from Hannibal than do most other Roman governors. No army could cross such a barrier. Nonetheless, Rome's enemies are bolder than ever. Prepare strong defenses just in case. The Carthaginians are formidable warriors. You got her, Baba Louie. Okay. Many Lanum. Okay, so 7,000 population. That's going to be... That's a lot of people. And, uh... Yeah, it should be okay though. We got a lot of farmland, a lot of resources here, so that's good. Okay, so one thing to note here, uh, due to a recording error on OBS, um, and that recording error being my memory and forgetting to push the record button on, or sorry, the mute button on the mic, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a, a late stage audio for um, for about an hour, just over an hour of the stream. Uh, just because I'm, I, I wanted to fill in. I didn't want to complete the whole scenario again because I had a really good city going this time, so. I just wanted to roll with it. Um, the audio will come in later, so I'll just uh, give a little, you know, after the fact commentary for a little while, and we'll just roll with it. So as I'm always doing, I just, you know I go over the map and I I just check out like where things are, what I can possibly do, where I can build uh, invasion points, stuff like that. So yeah, just checking over the the resources here. Look at, always look at the trade routes first, uh, see what I can buy, what I can sell. An easy one to do is iron, um, furniture as well. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'd go for right away. Iron weapons, um, just because iron, I mean, you can start producing that immediately at very, very little cost. So just start cranking that out, get some money flowing, and then you can transition into weapons later on. So that's probably where I'm going to put my iron mines, uh, followed by weapons workshops, stuff like that. That's probably where the invasion points are going to come from. I'm thinking like right over here too. Yeah, like probably that's that's a good invasion point. So we're going to do like a double block row of housing here. I now require a major Roman city. And the prosperity rating is actually pretty low, so I mean, like, I get a, away with just building something even simple like hovels, but I mean, that, that's not really that fun. So we're we're gonna go build some cool stuff in this one, maybe get some villas. Right now, I'm just kind of working out uh, where to put everything, you know, how to best line up the road situation and lay out my housing blocks. Yeah, so right between these two rocks, it's a little bit of a choke point, but it is big enough to, to fit two rows of housing, so.
as you're laying housing blocks out, like it's important to actually measure things out a little bit, you know, decide how much room you're going to need on the other side. Because so in the case of these rocks, um, putting a road right up against them limits my uh, ability to build services like to service the houses, right? So if like schools, libraries, stuff like that. So if I'm kind of running out of that room right off the bat, I'm kind of handicapping the level of housing that I can achieve. So you always want to be mindful of that when you're building. Make sure you have enough space to achieve the level of housing that you want. So I'm kind of deciding where to go, um, you know, based on connecting it to the road. Do I do I want to utilize that road to Rome, the existing road, or do I want to just want to build a whole new, whole new setup? Seven. So the quality of housing you want also affects like the width of the block that you want to build. So, um, I mean, say if you build a, a four block, you're not going to be able to put any gardens in the middle. But if you put, uh, build a block that's maybe seven wide, now you can put uh, three gardens in the middle. And so you're getting more and more bang for your buck, more desirability. But say if you're only going to go up to like hovels or something like that, you wouldn't necessarily want to go that wide. You could you could just get away with like a five block. And notice that I'm keeping these houses actually pretty close to the farmland because I don't want I don't want to get too far away and then all of a sudden now I'm having food supply issues having the market ladies uh, have to walk a long way to the granary it, it just it, more interruptions in supply so you want to try to avoid that you can however change it around a little bit and uh, you know create warehouses to go get food to bring it to the areas you want. It's a little more like labor intensive and tricky, but it can be done. So right now I'm just kind of optimizing the blocks just to leave enough room for, for reservoirs and then other buildings that I, I'm gonna need in the middle. So you want to leave at least three between the two rows of housing just because, like I said, reservoirs, they take up three by three, so you're going to need that extra room. While I was building, I should have actually got uh, a little more housing going, and just so you're getting, basically getting the immigrants coming in while you're building, it just makes it a little more efficient. Uh, I mean, they have a long way to travel by the time they get to their houses, so you can you can just slow down the speed. Uh, I don't build when I'm when I'm paused or on pause. So uh, yeah, you just slow down the speed and then you can just uh, do your thing while these uh, immigrants are working their way into the map. Because, you know, remember as you're building, the clock's ticking and, uh, you know, things can start happening, you know, enemies, um, distant battle events can start uh, popping up so you, you know the enemy's on your way to on their way to attacking you and you want to kind of move quickly get set up and be prepared yeah so this is going to be the start of the trade industry for me and then be putting down some iron mines here 
better to optimize the road a little bit so then I have more room for iron mines. Because they have to be right up against the rock, so. putting the roadblocks between the two blocks just to kind of keep everything contained into each block so I'm having my services only service one block so for instance I'm going to put a school on one block school on the other block and then I don't want those schools wandering between the two so as I always put down the old engineer prefect combo it's essential Start filling up that housing, get getting the immigrants coming in, get that labor force building, and get her going. Okay, now I can turn up the speed, let the uh, labor force come in, and get everything going. Get my building's going. This is pretty much always how I set up my cities right off the bat. Um, get a little farming going, a little bit of industry just to bring some money in, and um, and then you can slowly, just, uh, slowly start building up your your services for your housing and that's that way that kind of the city feeds on itself so as you're getting your your farming built and your markets are distributing your food now your housing's increasing more immigrants can come in now because you have higher capacity housing and it just slowly starts building up on itself and you can just keep on adding things as you go without having to build more housing Lay some gardens down just to maximize those tents. I think like I didn't need to build that many gardens in the other one, so just kind of being a little, doing it a little sparingly. But in the end, you have to lay down some plazas anyways because they they won't they won't upgrade without them. <laughs> Okay, now we can start opening that trade route. Get the iron flowing, make some money. Iron won't give you a crazy amount of money, but I mean, it, at least it's something, right? Something to provide you with a little bit of cash. See, there you go, distant battle. And I mean, we're only like, what, five months in now? And the way I was running the clock, I probably could have saved myself like maybe a month or two. <laughs> so I put down a doctor in the one, but not the other, which was probably a mistake. We'll see. So in these ones, um, you always want to make sure that you're, I mean the military campaign, you make, make sure that you're not pissing off Mars, because he can really make your life difficult. 
I mean, he casts like a black shadow on your soldiers or something like that, and now they're not fighting as well. It's, uh, it's a big problem if you're not careful. Yeah, I just want to make sure I get that blessing. It's always good to have that blessing from Mars right off the bat, because then, say if you don't build up enough forces by the time the first attack comes, now Mars will he'll cast a, a spell and it'll kill all the... Well, not all of them, but it'll kill a good portion of the enemy. See, now you can see how I did this, so I have a space on either side of the reservoir to accommodate buildings. Just one by ones, but, you know, it's better than nothing, right? So I can just build that directly out of there, and then hook it up to a reservoir on the lake, and then we're good. So now the gods are unhappy, yep. <laughs> it's a recurring theme, theme in my videos. Unhappy gods. Right there, I'm utilizing the 2x2 two two squares I have available, just to um, kind of maximize that, save the other spaces that are more open for, like, bigger 3x3 three three buildings. Laying down some more markets, getting that housing built up. So now you can see I, I'm getting larger shacks, so I'm going to be attracting now more people. And since my unemployment's getting pretty high, I can, you know, secure some more food stuff. Up that reservoir, then get a uh, better. See now they're getting pissed off because unemployment. <laughs> it's... So I'm gonna place the fountains a little more efficiently, just so you're not wasting space. Like right there. Okay, so now time to build some weapons uh, workshops. So weapons will bring in big cash, so you make sure you want to build some of those. So you can get, you can supply about two weapon shops for every iron mine, roughly. So in this case, I mean, I built three weapon shops, I'll have a little bit of weapons coming in, but I'm still going to be selling iron as well. I always try to lay out my farms in a double row, just so uh, you're making it a little bit more efficient for as far as road usage. different to me so it's a little bit better they're not annoyed with me anymore but I'm still having immigrants come in so as long as that's happening we're good when you, whenever you hear that sound you know that the prefects probably just killed a, a potential rioter so yeah you just be mindful of that well, and that's me not building engineers posts, so now I'm paying for it. <laughs> yeah, and I think in this scenario you don't need prefectures, just because 
Uh, it's like a northern climate, so the fire risk is really low. Or non-existent, I should say. People are disgruntled again. Yeah, anytime you keep unemployment over 20% for too long, they start getting a little angry with you. <laughs> oh boy. So all these are going to collapse. Yeah, and that is not getting employees as far as I need it. As quickly as I need it, I should say. So I'm going to open that trade route because I got some weapons sitting in the warehouse. So we can start exporting those. And then I'll start bringing in some serious cash. Yeah, I'm going to set that. I, I like to specialize my warehouses just to have like a certain good only going to that warehouse. Just makes things a little more efficient, easier to manage. Now people are immigrating. Now you can see the wolves are running around there. And in this game, I'm not allowed to build walls around the wolves. That's considered cheating for me. So at this point, it's just fingers crossed that the wolves don't come down and start eating my citizens. Okay, so I'm going to build like kind of a more manufacturing area in there, extend some more iron mines eventually. Okay, it'll be time to get uh, barracks and stuff built, working on my military, because the enemy is coming. Hannibal's on the march and he's uh, going to be crossing the Alps. Okay, so I can beef up that area, uh, get a little more desirability, and up upgrade those houses. <laughs> yeah, that statue combination is—it's not very, didn't look very good. I don't like it. People are unhappy. They're upset with me, wow. I think it also relies on, a, on the portion of people that are living in tents. So if you have a lot of people living in tents, they tend not to be very happy about that. So you can have a few and they won't care, but you don't want to have too many or else they start being like, hey, what the hell, feed us. <laughs> you know. <laughs> So I'm just putting some houses at the end of that road just for labor access. Because that barracks, I mean, that's has to do a pretty far loop-de-loop -loop to get to any any uh, source of employment. So I just want to build those houses there to secure it a little more. And trying to keep the gods a little happier again. I try to regularly put festivals, but... Whenever I say I'm going to do it, I, I always forget. <laughs> it always just falls to the wayside for me. Okay, so we got a little trade going now. It's good. Bringing in a little money. We got a few people leaving, but overall not that many. Now the wolves are coming down. 
But amazingly, I'll wait till I get back to the map here. But see, I don't think I noticed the wolves running through there last time because, I mean, you look amazingly, they went right through my city, but they didn't actually kill anybody <laughs> until now. <laughs> Uh, this is where I start noticing. So what to do about it? Well, I have to end up building some auxiliaries. Okay, so that put me in the black, but Caesar will... Or put me in the red, sorry, but Caesar will bail me out. And I think I just accidentally right-clicked on that message, but yeah, you can see, obviously, by my my Daenery, I'm back in the black again. Yeah, I wanted to put that a little closer just to employment. I needed to get that going, like, ASAP. Just get those wolves out of there, so... Yeah, one of the worst spots you can be in is when the wolves just basically camp out at the entrance like they're doing now, and then just eat the people that are coming in. So if it gets really out of control, they can actually, like, halt immigration to your city. Yeah, as you can see right now, they killed my trade caravan that was coming in, so I'm not going to be selling any weapons. So it is a problem. Wow, that guy actually made it through, hey? <laughs> what a brave soul. Supply post guys are bringing food back to the supply post so they can feed the troops. So yeah, right here, this is a situation I'm talking about where the, the wolves just start eating all your immigrants, basically. So right now, the mine, a lot of mine are getting through because they seem to be kind of stuck in limbo there, but then eventually they release and back to killing everybody. quite a number on people. Ah. Finally got employment at my barracks, so now I'll just start cranking out military units, so that's good. Oddly enough, the wolves kind of like went further south and stopped killing people, which is, you know, worked out well for me. At some point, I want to get a military academy down just because um, even though, say you get like 15 units going into a fort and you don't have a military academy, but then you build it for that last 16th uh, soldier going to that fort, then all of a sudden the whole thing will become academy trained, so the whole legion. Okay, so the Iron, Iron Crow is doing pretty well. Weapons I'm selling, not as many, but, but still like giving me some decent income. 
but time to build more. Now I'll have a good uh, military-industrial complex going. basically just managing my employment right now like I don't want to feed that other 10 city just because it, it would give me probably another 150 to 200 people which would really boost up unemployment Save there just to make sure. Feed the people, even though unemployment's still really high, but I'm sure I have a solution for this. I feel like I'm Marty McFly watching myself from the future. So I have a full granary, might as well build another one, uh, get more food stocks built up. So yeah, I don't really have enough room to do another row, so I might as well combine it go somewhere else. But I can use that area also to you know, build workshops, industries, stuff like that too. So it can be utilized. So maybe a, a budding pottery sector will be good here. <laughs> or furniture. Okay.
Okay, so this one will be accepting only furniture and timber. Starting out, I only build wheat farms just because they give you the most uh, production for bang for your buck, essentially. Then later on, you can transition into the second type of food. You'll need that for the higher quality uh, housing. Okay, you can see Mars has got a lot of sun, so he could give me a blessing. Might as well give him that little extra oomph. And bring in some cash, it's good. Take that little bush. And get some taxation going. Really, I should have built that next to the reservoir, just because I have a bunch of one by one uh, squares available there, and it'd just be better utilization. Funny, after the fact, I can kind of pick apart what I'm doing, critique myself. There you go, enemies at the door. So we're going to need that Mars Blessing. So it's good to complement the javelins with uh, another auxiliary unit. So then you can pin the enemy against that one, and then the javelins can just keep on skirmishing, and throwing throwing javelins into the, the ranks and thin them out a little bit. Some serious furniture industry going here. basically just looking for a way to make a garden connection um, just because it's it's a kind of a, a different way to build a road access point without actually building a road so your carts will actually use the gardens to transport uh, between two places without you know the I guess the confusion of a road As you can see, my granaries are running a little low, so definitely could use some more farms. There you go, got a full legion of javelins and working on the auxiliaries. Thinking eventually I was looking over there, we're going to put some villas. 
wolves have just been chilling out down there. It's good they didn't uh, didn't stick around that entrance. They kind of lucked out that way. But my plan here was to leave them alone until until I fought the first battle against the Carthaginians, but yeah, it might not happen. Okay, starting to get some marble quarrying going. If you ever have a city that you're building that has um, a trade route that you can sell marble to, definitely do it because it's it's very big bang for your buck. I mean, marble quarry only requires ten. Uh, 10 workers it doesn't need any secondary processing and you can sell it for like heaps and heaps of money okay series and neptune are getting a little unhappy out a little bit. So I don't want any priests going into the, that little area, so we'll just keep it uh, keep it road blocked off. seem to have disappeared. Where did the wolves go? Oh, they're there. So for some reason that small tent isn't getting food. Oh, it was, okay. Oh no, no, it wasn't. Yeah, just that one tent. Sometimes the market ladies don't find enough food in the granary to bring back to the market, and it's not enough to supply the whole block. Okay, get this furniture exports going. No, I love coming here. Business is going very well. Yeah. Probably gonna put some pottery workshops over here. I think I have to import clay on this one. Might as well get some entertainment going. Get these houses built up, and then I can uh, hit them with the next level with pottery. And then we're good. We'll get some small castles. There you go. Got the spirit of uh, Mars blessing. It's awesome. Food's good now. Eventually I'll, I'll build some more farms up that way and I'll have to put um, some more tents to secure a little bit of a labor source. 
place, but we're probably going to build it in like an L shape. Let's go up that way. Just to maximize the amount of farms I can have on the connect to the road. I can have some vacant spots, so I'll need some houses in there. Yes, no, maybe so. Some serious brainstorming going on here. for engineers. I'm sure I don't have any more building collapses. Uh, uh, yeah, those wolves are getting a little close, so I was like, yep, better go take care of them. I don't need them eating my uh, cart pushers that are delivering all the food. That would be not so good. Here they come. Okay, get those pottery workshops going. So now my troops are fighting the wolves. There you go, make sure it work of those. When you're fighting the wolves, you want to make sure that you kill all of them because they will respawn. So if you, if you leave one alone, he'll run off somewhere and then respawn some more wolves into his pack and then they're coming at you again with a full pack. Oh yeah, I lost supply access to his food. Or his employees, I mean. So I think if you leave that long enough and say they didn't get employees, then you're going to run into problems with uh, your feeding your soldiers and their morale will go down and they won't fight as well, fight as, as effectively. Yeah, the roadblocks, are, they're good for stopping the employment walkers, so those guys who go seek employees. Oh, they're first invasion. Okay, so I'm going to go engage the first group. I think that's the only one that shows up here. I don't think we have any elephants in this, this attack. So good to get some skirmishing going right away. Thin them out a little bit. There you go. Spirit conjured up by Mars. Didn't. I don't think I needed it, but you know, it 
it helps. Okay, gotta start importing some clay. And that's where the clay will go. And I'm just gonna limit the amount of clay that's gonna sit in that warehouse. Because I don't wanna be importing more than I need. Okay, let's get those houses going to small castles now. me why I just built three schools there. Why don't you build two on the same block? I'm not 100 sure. some full frontline legions going here. I'm gonna need them. There's some significant battles in this one. There's one later on that I get into that I, I just about lose the battle basically by making a mistake and selecting the wrong unit and you'll see that later. Yeah, it just gets a little intense. I was really afraid I was gonna lose that when that happened. Like I neglected Venus. Hmm, she didn't really even have that many uh, lightning bolts either. Some more or some marble, I can lay down some oracles that'll help appease the gods a little bit. I don't really need too much marble in this uh, scenario, so definitely want to limit that. How much is uh, stockpiling in my warehouses? So in this scenario, I did try building a big monument, but uh, it didn't really work out well. I, I wasn't sure how to use them yet, so. But we will definitely expect more of those in later episodes.
So as you can see, just out of those two housing blocks, I mean, I already have almost 2,000 people just at the current state of the housing. So once you get insulates, you can increase that quite a bit. I could probably get 3,000 people out of those blocks. Okay, and some more pottery workshops. So I'm filling the quota for furniture, which is good. And I have a lot of enemies on the way. See, in reality, in history, the Carthaginians didn't just stop at Medieval Anum. They went all the way up and down the, the Italian peninsula and defeated numerous Roman armies. But they, could never, uh, they never brought Rome to its knees. And they ended up defeating Hannibal. Pretty crazy. Okay, so this will be the start of a uh, villa block that I'm going to make. So I'm going to go for like the, I think they're called large villas, and they're 3x3s. Three so I would need uh, at least a 9 width, and counting the statues I want to place between the villas so they don't expand into each other. So you're kind of keeping them a little bit separate. So you need a, you know, a full total of 12. 12 by 12 interior space. Oh, no, that's actually not true. I think I've overbuilt it on this one. I think you need 11 by 11. Because you'd only need two statues between each um, villa. So you'd have three villas. So one on each corner, a uh, statue between them, then the middle villa. So that, that's only two statues per row. Yeah, I got the employment, so I'll build a little bit more industry here. Just trying to lay that out the most effective I can. I'm getting a little fur or far away from the existing housing, so I'm going to need to put some more over here. Get that military industrial complex rolling. As you can see, I'm making some sweet cash now. I'm just checking the desirabilities of the forts, uh, whether or not they're going to be a problem for the villa block, but they weren't. Still indifferent. Probably gonna have to put the reservoir a little closer.
go, that works out. I like when you have everything in a symmetrical pattern like that. It looks a lot better, in my opinion. Granaries filled. Been looking a little bare bones. Nice. Get more money from furniture. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! Pissing off Venus again. Mars. Okay, so this is how I space out the villa housing. So basically you just want to make a one by one. Because you don't need any more than that. And the the villa or sorry, the housing will eventually evolve into that that villa and take up that much space. So there's no need to make like a two by two or anything right off the bat. Access point going for uh, just quick delivery of pottery and stuff like that. Furniture as well. So that's key to, to villas is having quick access to all the goods and you just want to make multiple markets just so you're constantly getting the right coverage and securing those villas so they're not like, you know, constantly evolving and devolving because it can be a problem if you're not careful. So 8,700 denarii last year, that's pretty good. That's a hell of a trade industry. So in order to get the villas, I will need to start uh, building a second supply of food soon, so vegetables. Another invasion. Okay. So you always want to keep the legions in that square formation. It seems to be 
it gives them the best bonus. So another kind of small invasion. Nothing really too crazy to worry about. I'm so confident of winning that one, I don't even need to watch it. Okay, make sure don't leave my troops out in the field. I think if you leave them out in the field long enough, their morale starts to decrease. So if you forgot to put them back in the forts and all of a sudden another invasion shows up, you could be at a big disadvantage there. Okay, so we're going to have multiple markets in this one. Just like I said before, just to ensure that, that secure uh, source of supply for food and, and you know, pottery, furniture, etc. space for a military industrial complex. See, I had this thing where the, the mouse, I don't know, like my mouse button sticks sometimes and it, it auto locks that into like scroll mode. So it's just all spastic looking. And I don't know why it does it. I can't recreate it though. I think it's maybe just an issue with my mouse. So I'm going to start centralizing the marble production a little bit.
can. So uh, Dilla's need larger entertainment needs, so I'm going to have to put a Coliseum there eventually. Absolutely nailed the invasion points on this one. I got them completely right. Dad would be proud. So this is a pretty big one. So I'm going to bait some of them in here, I think. No, that's what I should have done, but I didn't. Okay, there we go. Now some of them will start coming. Lost a few soldiers, a couple out of that one, and a few out of that one. Not too bad. Could have been a lot worse. So all of them are quite unhappy with me, so probably should build an oracle. Okay, my legions are replenishing, so that's pretty good. Get that Colosseum going. And I need a lion pit with that as well. They never stop in this map. They just keep coming. So it might be good to build up some defenses or something.
put a service road for access for the uh, forts. You always need a little bit of people there to supply the, the labor for the towers as well. I think one thing I did wrong here is I didn't connect the the towers to well the road to my city, so then it can't supply the towers with guards without that road connection. So that's important to note too. Okay, get those vegetable farms going so I can get that second type of food for the villas. Because that will be essential. With all the farmland on this map, you really could build a huge city. Like, I'm guessing you could probably get like 15,000 people out of all that farmland. It'd be tough, but you could do it. Maybe even more than that, because the target for this is 7,000, and I don't even come close to filling up all the farmland. Maybe you get like 20, 30,000, I don't know. Man, that'd be a huge city. Uh, park architecture here. People are actually pretty happy, so I can raise taxes. A Neptune party. So I should have put the monument there. 
because it needs the middle access point, but instead I ended up putting it over there in the wrong place and... Oh, I enough timber. stuff. So for iron, I'm not... Yeah, at some point they stopped kind of buying iron for a little bit, but um, I don't know. There's a little bit of a trade bug in this game. I think it they just kind of randomly stopped buying certain things. and uh, But it eventually worked itself out, so it's all good. This is where I'll need more markets just to get a little bit more secure source of goods, that kind of stuff. And Mercury's angry because he has one less temple than everybody else. Yeah, so this is where I put this in the wrong spot. So the middle needs an access point and I didn't give it that, so nothing actually ends up happening with this temple. So yeah. Normally, uh, laborers would just start delivering marble to it for my warehouses, but that doesn't end up happening. So for those, I need a work camp and stuff, but I end up, yeah, obviously, it's uh, of no, no use because I didn't have it in the right spot. But it was a good way to soak up some unemployment anyway. realized like the total dumbass I am I left my microphone muted so yeah um, I guess this is the first point anybody's gonna hear my voice in the whole stream bra fucking vo oh yeah yeah I don't know how I forgot that all right 
Now, whether the stream's gonna be better now that you can hear my voice or not, uh, at this point, I mean, all bets are off. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm really curious to see what happens with this. hospital somewhere try to balance out the desirability thing so let's probably go right here yeah this is what it is maybe build a large statue to kind of balance it out I saw a line of people going over to this thing. It kind of seemed like... Lambert's constructing the podium that will elevate the temple and provide a solid foundation to weather the passage of time. Okay. Okay, now supplies of oil. here. Hey. Fucking Mercury. I'm building him this giant temple and he's all like... Eh. Hey, you don't like me. You don't like me. up here. Hello. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe they already got a school access. Probably right here. Okay. Okay, now at some point I'm going to need to start importing oil. Shit, I was supposed to, uh... Maybe if I'm lucky, I can get a couple of ballistas by the time they start marching forward. This is actually a big fight. <laughs> yeah, this is a hell of a fight. Oh, I hope they don't show up before the legionaries get there. Yeah, and of course you gotta start attacking them.
getting roughed up pretty good. Oh, they fled. Whew. That was a good one. That was a big battle. Does it again? Well, wasn't lucky enough to get a couple ballistas before that. That would have helped a lot, probably. There's some large statues. are kind of boring sometimes too. Hey, how come uh, I'm not getting any marble over here? They have to deliver it to here first? I'm just gather here to transport materials to the construction site. Okay. They're using it. Yeah, like I'm definitely losing marbles, so I don't know. Okay, I don't really need that timber. That's actually okay that it collapsed. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is. Market is taken directly and invisibly from your temple builders when you build a temple. Okay, yeah. Special order. Okay, well, this is about warehouses, though. Hmm. So it must be like when they gather 20 of them, then they just take off and go deliver it? I I'm not sure how that works. So I don't have a school there. Okay. okay so we're gonna do a, another warehouse here, and this is gonna be strictly for oil, oil and wine. Probably actually only oil in the end. My my marble is disappearing. Let's see, like, where's it going? Medium insulate. Medium insulate. Okay.
Okay, so it's June. Do I fill my quotas? Yep, 15 for iron. Only four for weapons. Okay, so I can definitely make more weapons shops. I'm only gonna go one more for now, though. I don't want to, but... Oh, am I doing something wrong, or is it... Is it all good? I kind of don't want these ones using oil, but I mean, I should be able to import more than enough. A good day to you. Ha! I don't know why I bother with this route. They don't buy anything or have anything they want to sell me. Why aren't you selling me clay? Give me all of it. Hmm. A good day to you. Can I interest you in some top quality? A good day to you. Can I interest a good day to you? Can I interest you in some top quality goods?
Okay, they're gonna buy some iron or what? Okay, what the hell, dude? Like, I love coming here. Business is going very well. Why aren't they buying the iron? This game gets weird sometimes. Sometimes it just has kind of like glitchy behavior. Yeah, I don't know why he's not buying my iron. He's going for the furniture, obviously. Going very well. I don't know, that's that's strange. Try moving that, I guess. I don't know. We'll see if that works. And who's supposed to be selling me oil? That fucking guy. Oh, because I did that. Ah yeah, right. Okay, I don't want these evolving anymore. I kind of want to focus on, on getting the villas. Okay, what I can do down here is set up another, another city. Okay, we got oil. Must have oil. Nope. Uh, we must have got oil somewhere. Where'd it go? As long as I'm exporting more than I'm importing, all is well. I don't need meat yet, quite yet, but. Let's get some more veggies going. Holy 
clay. <laughs> Way too much. You know what? That's okay. Better to have too much than not enough. Alright. Grand Insulas. Nice. Insulas. Insulas? Insulas. Yeah, Insulas. Okay, uh... Okay, so let's look here. We got so they'll expand into a three by three square. So we can go. So I even got a little bit more space than I needed. Which is A-OK -okay by me. I'd live there. Why not? Why is a wine? Okay. So let's check. I'm an able now. Okay, they're buying iron again. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, I need to be making more furniture. I'm not selling very much of that right now. So. so raw materials, timber yard. Thing again, and we'll do two more workshops. Nice. So let's go like five units a year. I think that should be okay. You know what? I don't want those grand insulas getting any bigger than that. You know what I mean? I'm kind of going to bring down the desirability just a little bit. Because I want the wine focusing on this. Okay. Let's see what that does. Place it with a vegetable farm. Okay, I'll start bringing in a little bit of vino. Yeah, so I could definitely be uh, producing some more. Let's 
try our school for weapons. Yeah, I could be bringing in a little bit more cashish. Is up there, hey? to a road to get I don't know that's a good question let's try it out yeah I did okay so there you go, got some blisters now. Okay, so let's do a roadblock right here. Got some wine, nice. Yeah, I'm still at a loss as to what's happening here. Okay, so just about sold all the furniture and still lagging behind on weapons a little bit. Alright, got a villa. Nice! Increase the desirability, eh? Do another oracle. Or I could build a governor's house for myself. Yeah, let's do it. Sometimes you gotta treat yourself. A second type of food.
Too much stuff demanding that second type of food. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Start changing the fuel over here. Festival. Let's go one for Mars. I didn't think the cart pushers would go all the way down to this one, but they are. That could cause problems. I didn't think they would. I thought it would be far enough away. Okay, let's build another tower here. My villa back. Through my access to an academy. Yeah, good call. Need some workers. I got villas here now. Oh, great. Except vegetables. I'll get this one to maybe up to like hobble status, and I think that's as far as it'll go. I'm not. I'm not looking to uh, to create like high quality housing out of this one. Hey, nice, nice.
Okay, I'm happy with large villas for now. That's that's sweet. Beverly Hills. Detrimental effect, eh? I think I can afford some trees. Okay, probably go and put some of these. So let's go statues. Do some medium statues. Fences. That sounds like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. shit. What are they doing? Just kind of like walking around back and forth. Yeah, it's kind of get guys in line here. Well, it's buying me more time anyway. Already gathered a few more troops. Okay, well, more time the better. I got another one. Nice. Kind of milling around. Okay, please tell me there's some like immigrants coming this way. Possibly. Either way, I'm not going to be able to get uh, those towers banned in time. Uh oh. Okay, 
Okay, well I could probably start up, start up importing some stuff. Yeah, I could start up importing that for sure. Why am I not exporting anything? <laughs> ah, damn bugs in this game. <laughs> oh, that was, uh, that was a fight. Oh, <laughs> that was a fight. I was kind of getting a little bit concerned there, but all is good. Yeah, those legionaries, they got, they got roughed up a little bit. Horsemen, yeah, they got, they got whooped. Yeah, well, if I can withstand that, I think I'm good. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Second type of food again, eh? Get rid of that. Okay, so I need more... Actually, build a market right here. Here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm missing here. I, I don't know. It's like, does it have to be in a certain vicinity or something? I'm gonna have to do a little more research on, on this stuff. Ah, there we go. Now we got some immigrants coming that way. Where's my boot? Okay. Pissed off. Different. Okay, something is wrong here. Like, nobody's buying any weapons, nobody's doing anything. This is strange. Buying a little bit, selling a little bit, not that much. It's already made. 
That second type of food that's really being a bit of an issue. Some top quality goods. Why do you only buy one? I mean, I have a whole shit ton. I got a lot of weapons sitting right here. Take them. I don't need them. So I'm not even going to give them entertainment. They're devolving. Arr. Okay, so I got... So this is not accepting vegetables, so I can just pour veggies into this. Dispatch a relief for us. Oh, okay, I guess nobody's coming, sure. So, tell me about your larger sense of operational legions. Okay, my legions aren't quite up to snuff yet, though. Hmm. Okay, I'll wait a little bit till they're more replenished. gonna like spam vegetable farms. Okay, so what am I gonna use? 
so that's not even functioning. So. Okay. This put some houses right here. How my ratings doing? 42, well above. To a few theaters. How about you pay your tribute. What? Yeah, for some reason they're not buying all the furniture I'm using. Half extra price. <laughs> Half extra price. That's kind of a weird way of putting that. Why wouldn't you just say like 50% more? Or extra. You just leave it, leave it at that. Leave it to the imagination. I'm gonna charge you half extra price. <laughs> Somebody told me that, I'd be like, you're a psycho. more time. I'll be ready. Yeah. 
relaxation going. So we kind of need another market right there. I'm going to do that. One right here. Workers, eh? Okay. Ended up making that one like one shorter. Yeah, I did. Shit. <laughs> That's all right. I just keep on uh, building blocks like this. This will end up uh, more people than I need. Nice, look at all those villas. Aw oh, yeah.
I'm overproducing uh, weapons, but underproducing furniture. Well, I'm not underproducing, I'm just underselling. Okay, so let's go down to like three units. Probably still have a lot. Oh no, I don't. Shit. Not much at all. Okay. It's okay, I, I still have like tons of pottery. solve my employment situation first. Look at all those villas. Ah! <laughs> Fuck, it spoke too soon. Health division. This is so local. How the fuck? What the fuck? Are you serious? Greetings. There's a. There are so few workers here that someone even offered me a job. <laughs> okay, probably feed these people now. Oh, you little motherfucker. Prioritizing my labor here. Okay, yeah, that's, that seems okay so far. Okay, I probably should build another oracle. <laughs> what the hell? Let's put one over here. Big supply train coming. Oh, yeah, forgot about the soldiers. Okay, um, 
Cell Service. Okay, let's send them. And I could probably use another port. Anyway. See, I don't know if I'll need it. Yeah, let's hold off. This is all armed up now. Yeah, it might be okay. Wait, what the fuck? Hmm. Oh yeah, because they built that tower and then I hit cancel. Do have uh, <laughs> do have some more battles to fight. But... Right on. I was just gonna say, uh, this one's. I was thinking about deleting it. Now I don't have to. Oh, nice large villas. Oh yeah. Where are they gonna fight at Taraco? Where's all my marble going? Is it going to this fucking thing again? I don't know. It's like in the wrong spot or 
I have no idea. Why don't I try to build another one? Let's try to... Grand Temple of Pantheon. 3,500 buckaroos. <laughs> okay. Tall order. Okay, well, okay. I thought it was eight months until, like, you had to be there, sort of thing. Hmm. Oh, it's increased. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think I'm gonna bother expanding these villas. Uh, I could import meat if I wanted to, but I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna bother. It's just. I don't think it's worth it for the amount it'll cost and the fact that my rating, my prosperity rating is already double what we need it to be and it's still rising. So, you know, that being said, um, I'm pretty sure I can really just supplement the rest of the population requirement with tent cities. I could probably get away with that. I may just do that, I may not, I don't know. I think I might build another like hovel block, because the good thing about hovels and all this stuff is that it actually has um, has things I can employ people with, like schools, temples, all that kind of stuff, so so that kind of helps. No, oh, Venus is irritated. Let's build her a temple. What I might do, I think I'm going, going to um, delete these and I'm going to move them over here. Okay, so Engineers Guild. And then we're going to do a... Uh, where's a work camp? Right here. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can construct this thing. I'm, I'm really curious. I mean... This one didn't work, I don't know why. I'm just kind of eager to see what happens here. So what I might do is connect these with a roadblock. It just gives the, the work camp better access to the warehouses. So, okay, let's uh, tone this down a little bit. Only want to accept like 16.
trying to find uh, where the walker for this camp is. Oh, weapons are full. Where are the traders at? There they are. A good day to you. Can I interest you in some top quality goods? Okay. Okay, so let's build another block somewhere. Maybe right up here. Was I building these? I don't think I need to go as wide this time. Let's go. Let's go six. Three, four, five, six. Let's go 14. Two, three, four, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen. Perfect. Tuck a reservoir back here. Let's get it close to the rocks as possible. Oh, that's kind of shitty. Oh, man. Okay, not like I really have to worry about farmland. I mean, I have quite a bit on this map. I have more than enough to feed everybody. Right on, there we go. Got it. Three out of 44. Oh, you know what it is. I'll bet you anything, it's that. That has to be road connected. I'm positive that's that's what it is, now that I see that. So this one is not going to do anything. Okay, so. Give it the old delete. And let's just do some large statues. Right here we'll do gardens because I don't want to block that off. It's weird how... Um... Oh yeah, that looks like shit. There we go. Yeah, it's weird how the, like, the armies can't move through statues, but they can move through the gardens fine. But that's got pathways. Enemies are closing, okay. Well, I'm ready. Well, maybe not. Oh yeah, they'll get back in time. Okay, so... My rating with Caesar... Uh, took a big shit as soon as uh, I lost that battle. I, I really screwed that up, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna figure that out. Okay, so I need to send Caesar a gift or something. So 
Let's give him... Let's go all out. It's like half my savings, but whatever. Gotta make him happy. I'm really curious to see what this is going to look like in the end. Alright, 5,000. Oh yeah. right in the middle here. Build one of those. And maybe a couple statues. So let's go with a goddess statue on either side here. And then we'll do a senator statue. This side. Groovy. Actually, you know what? Let's go like this. And let's put those. Take an elm tree. Yeah, I like the trees. They look way more decorative. Way more purdy. I feel like they're not buying my weapon. Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Still not buying a lot of furniture though. I don't know why. Let's see, I'm still the income. Oh, I'm I'm losing money. But I mean that could be because of construction. So yeah, I constructed a lot last year, so. So my trade and taxes, I mean, damn, I'm looking at like almost 15 grand. Imports are only at 3,000. So yeah, I'm good. So my imports and wages are still half of what my income is. Crazy what those uh, new building levies add up to as well. Like they... Yeah, that's nuts. So new, the new building levies in Augustus are for like the temples. So like they have four denarii a month. I can't remember it's temples. This thing must when it's done, I'm sure. Maybe, uh... oh yeah, an oracle does too. So you can't just spam oracles anymore without consequence. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with that actually. I think that's a good idea. Soldiers return. Yeah, they're almost here. Okay, so I got. What do I have for soldiers here? I have three legions. Uh, sorry, where am I? yeah, right here. Six legions. Okay, yeah, so I have three legionaries. I could probably even do another legionary cohort. Maybe put one over here. So I thought in Augustus that you could have more than six, but maybe I just didn't turn that on. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I can make some more 
gardens over here. Let's do some statues. So, like, maybe some medium statues. Uh, yeah. Poor guys. It wasn't their fault, it was my fault. Again, I'm not going to build any, um, any whatchamacallit uh, theaters. Because I don't want them using pottery. And then when they use pottery, then they use furniture. And then when they use furniture, they start using fucking wine and oil. And I don't want that. I want everything coming into this luxury sector. And then that, that's it. Unemployment's creeping up here, so I could probably build some more farms. Doing the roadblock here. So I don't get a walker out that way. Oh, we are. Okay, so let's do another roadblock there and there. up on schools and stuff like that. So actually up here I could uh There and I'll do. I was gonna do some marble, but that's a hell of a long way for him to walk, so let's put it down over here. There we go. Oh, yeah, shit. I almost forgot about that. Doctor. Probably use a doctor and all that stuff over here too. Do I, do I not have an engineer's post over here? Well, that's probably not a good thing. I don't need to build prefectures, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I mean I need to find jobs for people, so might as well have it. Market lady's taking food from that granary. Why isn't she grabbing it from this one? Hmm. I guess there was none at the time. That fat lady up front told me to carry this and follow her. <laughs> you little shit. <laughs>
much extra housing do I have? So my total capacity is 5,800. So need another, you know, 1150 from there, roughly. And we're good. Actually, I should probably start looking at bringing the culture rating up to a few theaters. Yeah, and academies and libraries. So let's go library. Build on each of those. <coughs> what about amphitheaters and theaters? Tent City right here. Another housing block right here would be good too. Need more people though. Actually, I should be taxing these people too. What am I doing? Missing out on some money. Oh, you know what I want to build is a Senate. Senate's gonna go right here. Okay, let's let's actually let's lay out a block here. So we'll go. This. Wait, is that right? Delete this. And then this will form the structure of our next housing block. So I'll do the same size as this. So we got two, four, five, seven, and it looks like nine. Go 13 then. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, then we can fit a Senate right here. Let's 
build an academy. What's my schools doing here? Schools average. Okay, so I can do some more schools. I'm gonna build another granary right here. <laughs> do a little garden connection right here. So one way to curry some more favor with Rome would be to lower my lower my salary. Nipper is angry with me. Damn. Too few theaters again, hey? Okay, so I need some more theaters. spamming theaters. Screw it. Put another one on the inside up here. Let's take that roadblock. Yeah, I'm not gonna have to worry about the prosperity rating. We're all good with, with that. get some of these up above average so let's build a library up here and then uh, an academy
Oh yeah, I didn't build a forum. I need one up here too. Another distant battle. So <laughs> apparently another huge wave's coming. Yeah, halfway there, okay. Maybe I should build a warehouse up here to up my marble production. Yeah, that'd actually be a good idea for right here. Okay, let's do it. So I'm only accepting marble. Okay, I'm gonna wait till I get uh, a little more population in here. Doesn't really look symmetrical. You know what? That fountain. Mercury indifferent to me. Actually, it's been a long time since we had a festival here. Let's throw a party. farm right there. That was kind of wasted space. And we'll do a couple more up here. Plop down on another tower right here. Yeah, let's do it. I think I can fit another one right here too. Yep, why not? Probably even build more towers here. Skirmishing right off the bat. Okay, 
Okay, I'm busy. Come on. There we go. Turn the battle in my favor a little by drawing some of them in, and then killing them, and then let the next group do the same thing. Ideally, I want to lose as few troops as possible just because I'm going to need them for these upcoming battles. Man, those elephants can take a punch. Took a, just ate that ballista shot like it was nothing. So you got another one coming right away. Ah, he's leaving. Shit's weak, buddy. Shit's weak. There you go. I only lost one soldier. Awesome. Captured by another governor's legion. He's one triumph in Roman cities. Yeah, well, yeah, rub it in my face a little. <laughs> Let's go like that. That looks pretty cool. Do a. Very nice. about there. being fed too. Oh. Ah, that's okay. Plazas or something. capacity of housing do we have? 6925. Oh, so close. That's okay. Because uh, I want to see this Pantheon get built. So we'll stick it out for that. Bitch. <laughs> All right, build her another temple. Jesus, Venus thought we were friends. Let's build another marble quarry here. Actually, hang, hang on. Uh, so they increased the iron. I, 
I still have quite a bit of it. I don't know if I if I'm looking for like excess unemployment, then maybe I'll build more. But right now, I think we're good. Culture rating doing here. Too few theaters still. The okay, amphitheaters and theaters. Actually, I could build a Colosseum eventually. to uh needed to send that dispatch to Rome. Actually I should have done that like immediately. I was busy though, I got caught up in the in the battle. Oh yeah, I still got a lot of time though, that's okay. So let's dispatch that. That'll make Caesar a little happier. Won't be as pissed off with me. Okay, let's put another theater right here. Do another one right here. And we'll put an amphitheater right here. I'm just trying to, you know, fill the space and at the same time get that culture rating up. going to evolve because it's got gladiator access now anyway. Okay. Well, I might as well then just roll with it. Pull the school here. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right then. I guess we're we're going with Cassas. I don't know how this one got entertainment. There's no theaters over here. Who knows? Do I have a so health go clinic? So yeah, because it's easy. Welcome. Doctor right here. There's no, I don't have one here either. I thought I put one there. Uh, let's go right there. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, that's what it was, because the, uh, yeah. That's okay, I have a lot of spare pottery to use, and, and whatever, it'll push me up over the population limit anyway. Alright, first phase done. Did that increase my favor rating with Rome? 
Yeah, it did. Nice. Two pew theaters again, still. Theater. Fuck it. Actually, you know what? Uh, no, that, that could be okay. Yeah. I think my next vision for uh, the next city would be to have like a block of how to say housing like this and then maybe you have like a block here block here then you have another couple here and in the middle you create like a channel that has a bunch of these monuments just lining like that and then you have like a Senate make it look really cool right I think that would be pretty uh, pretty awesome Shit, no, I didn't want that school there. I wanted to put the Senate there. Okay, let's get rid of that. School right here. Okay, let's go. Let's build the Senate. Let's fill this in right here with a large statue. You know, it could have the school right here. Then we have an extra space for a farm. That is a lot of soldiers. Just a little overlapping skirmish here. bulk of them either.
Okay. Well, that one got pretty much half decimated. Same with that one. I only lost one there. Yeah, a few. Okay. Oh, it was that, uh... Yeah, that when I selected that other legion, that did not help. I felt I could have uh, lost a little less if um, if I hadn't selected that javelin unit. Oh well, it's all good. We won. And the next one's a little ways off, so that's okay. Well, time to recover. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh, so they're the guys delivering the stuff. Nice. Okay, so we got enough wood. What are we doing for food production? Produce a little more than we eat. Okay. I got some excess workers here. I can build some more farms. Damn, over my population limit. I kind of want to build this, but at the same time, I want to um, I want to finish it. But yeah, I want to finish the scenario. Okay, let's give this a quick save here. Too few schools. Okay. Schools, library, and an academy. I got a feeling this is going to take a little too long. So now that we know what to do, um, we can definitely do one in the next scenario. That's not a big deal. Uh, replenish. Still the average, hey? Okay. Let's put another one down. Twenty-nine now. What's gonna be next? It's gonna be all these. So theaters and amphitheaters. So now that this is all getting filled in, I can put some more theaters and stuff. Okay, so that's how I can constrict it by a bathhouse. Okay, well let's do that. Here. I imagine I'm going to need some like actor colonies or something here. Yeah. Uh, actor colony. And I'll do a gladiator school right here. Thank you. 
computer right down here. Maxing out my iron trade yet? 25 on 25. Yeah, I am. Cool. Theaters, eh? It's looking good though. And imagine these things would be like hella expensive if you didn't have uh, like the option to mine marble, because uh, or quarry marble, I should say. Because for the amount of marble that these require to import, that would be so expensive. It costs so much money. months away from another attack. back down so I'll have to send Caesar a gift here right away.
few theaters again. <laughs> I just can't win. You know what? The hell with it. Let's put two. This is the the Hollywood district right here. Hollywood Boulevard. Actually, I could build a theater right here as well. And then an active colony over here because... Because, yeah, they don't have the bathhouse access, so they're not going to require pottery. See if maybe I can draw them towards the wall. Okay, let's try that. It seems smaller than last time, I think. Yeah, let's try to draw them in. Completely missed. Problemo. Okay, so culture, too few libraries. Probably do. I don't know if Coliseums will count towards that, I'm not 100% sure.
Good stuff. So basically, schools and cats. I want to get everything up to good is what the aim is here. Another academy there. And another school somewhere. Not right beside the next one. <laughs> Done the second phase. There we go. Okay, so I just need to send the gift to Caesar and we're good. So let's give us a quick save. And let's dispatch a gift. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll. What's my. My Kazator? Kazator? Send a gift. Dispatch generous gift. Okay. Oh, there you go. Done. All right, good times. Um, so yeah, let's accept the promotion. That Hannibal right, could cross stuff. the Alps with his elephants was amazing. That Mediolanum would prosper despite his assault is a miracle. That's what I do, buddy. Your I do success miracles. turns the tide of the Punic War in Rome's favor. All Rome thanks you.